Oh. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Oh. Welcome back to Back to the Future, the game for more point and click adventure die. game action. We're right will back I. where we left off. About to hopefully get the dog hey. to bring Emmett out of this bathosphere by standing on the oxygen tube. So here we go. Emmett gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. Oh, Emmett? Who? Emmett, you. Raise the bathosphere, man. I'm just going to keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you would. Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? Drop the act, man. Ready to drop the act now, Jacques Duteau, a.k.a. Carl Sagan, a.k.a. No! Okay, you well... You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. Uh, what can we do here? Uh, okay. Is this working, or...? So I think he's raising it. Well, there's a coincidence, there, isn't it? See, it was just a malfunction after all. Let's hope that Emmett's in here. Someone is. Let's get you out of there. It is Emmett. Uh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Oh, he's gone. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. I think he took his wallet. Oh, remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, <laughs> you'd better get back to your booth before... Funny thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush. I never got hmm. the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where'd he go? You know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, I know how that is. Well, Emmett's back, so that's part one done, What's right? What's this? Oh, yeah. Edna made Detective Parker shut down your booth. He says he can't go against her. Oh, yeah? Unless we dig up some dirt that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. And that's what we've got to do. So that's what we'll do. <laughs> As he says. So I'm guessing it's going to have something to do with... Uh, has the game crashed? No, there we go. It's just auto-saving. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be something to do with proving that she's the speakeasy arsonist then. The only thing I can think of is that it's going to have something to do with that potted plant. How do we oh. get her to admit Hello, it? Shmirnoff. Can we talk do to you Emmett? Know now? What she made him do? Yeah, come here. Uh that was weird. His mouth was moving, but he didn't say anything. Don't let Carl Sagan distract you again. Listen, if Carl Sagan shows up again, you're not gonna let him lead you away, are you? Are you kidding? My sole concern now is to get back up to my electrokinetic levitator. Good man. Good. Uh, we've got to discredit Edna. Edna made Parker close your booth down. I know that. So he'll only open it up again if we could find a way to discredit her. Do you know anything that'll ruin Edna's standing in town? Well, we do. Yes, I do. She is a rotten kisser! Oh! <laughs> that wasn't what I had in mind. Uh, has Edna told you anything? Edna never confessed anything to you, did she? Like what? Something incriminating. Like, for instance, her being the speakeasy arsonist. Edna, the speakeasy arsonist? Then again... It's true, man. Why not? But she never said anything about it to you? No. Damn. Um, is the electrokinetic levitator ready? Assuming we get Parker to open your booth back up before they call your name, is the levitator ready to go? I'll accept the power source. You did bring the static accumulator, didn't you? Yeah, I've uh, got yes. it. You want it now? No. Wait till we get back to the booth. Okay. I gotta so run. That's all about he knows. some sense into those two? Oh, a Sisyphean task if ever there was one. Right, oh. well, maybe we can talk Hello, to one of these... Shmirnoff. ...other guys. Maybe Parker? Excuse me. We're Marty. gonna need that recording, Michael. I'm guessing, though. Shmirnoff. Um, I just want to talk to Detective God. Parker. 
Uh, okay, who listens to Edna? Since when does anyone in Hill Valley? Oh, we already asked Ever that. Since I'd be in. Boy, catch a dame like. Uh, I've got some dirt. You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah, you got some. Yep. She's the speakeasy arsonist. Edna's the speakeasy arsonist. That's an interesting theory. It's the truth. I heard her confess. Well, I didn't hear it, so I'm afraid it's your word against hers. And no offense, but her word carries a little more weight around here than yours does. Yeah, so... Thanks. How are we going to get be this back. to work? Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Can we... Use this on literally anything? Not sure what that'll do. Hmm. How are we going to get her to... Con the only way she can... Hang on, can we put this into here? Okay, okay. I think we Call can. Me a snoop. Yes. Right, so do we need to turn that on? I changed my mind. These don't look so good no, here. so we don't need to turn it on. I get it, so... We can't record it from that end. Where we're recording from... But if we put that into here, it should record okay. her confession, Call me a right? Snoop. Okay, I mean, it's the most suspicious looking flower pot you've ever seen in your life, but hopefully she's going to fall for it. Um, so, that was weird, we were like stuck on that thing there. Let's get back into here. We'll try calling her again and getting her to confess. Welcome to the about being the speakeasy arsonist. Mm, yes. Why does it say button like that? Like button. Like it's like I don't know, breaking up the syllables of the words. It's saying button. It's like button. I don't know. It's weird. Let's press the phone button. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say hang up to terminate your phone helmet experience. We are going to ring the phone booth of the future, please. Contact 4253. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? Uh, it's Carl Sagan. It's me, Carl. Oh, hi, Mr. Sagan. What can I do for you? Uh, put Edna back on the phone. Can you get Edna on the phone for me again? You got it, Mr. Sagan. Hey, your highness! <laughs> right, hopefully now Mr. that Sagan? will record the what confession. Happened? I thought you were distracting Emmett. I was? Oh, yes, of course I was. Then why is Emmett standing here valiantly trying to convince Detective Parker that he should be allowed to go through with this ever-so-dangerous display of wrong-headed technology? What can I say? Of words. I was outsmarted by that wily Yakov Smirnov. Well, that puts a crimp in our plan. Yes, yes, yeah, our not plan. as big as this is About going to, though. Plan. Uh, why did you burn those speakeasies down? You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving <laughs> illegal <laughs> drinks and loose women flaunting their depravity to We've the world. Done it. And the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking, rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. This the is a hell of a confession. In such pretty blue flames. Oh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Uh, yeah. Hang up. What? Pretty incriminating, I've got to say. Jeez. Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. Oh. Well, there we go. Let's get that plant and get it to Parker. <gasps> okay, Hi, it's folks. nearly Emmett's it's turn. It's me, Techni, Muse of Progress, gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift could Hill Valley offer the world than this magnificent science and technology exhibit? Hey, folks, if you haven't yeah. done so already, I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at Furnishings of the Future. Right here in our main hall, tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. 
Good for you. I thought... I mean, did Parker literally display anything there? <laughs> I, I don't think anyone's actually really displayed anything, have they? Oh, hello. Oh, Parker. Oh, hang Shmear on. Now. We need to get the plant. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, you're not going to be so smug in a second, Edna. Technically, she should no, go to prison I for this, right? I don't asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. Because original Doc, who first became Carl Sagan, was locked up for being the arsonist, so she should go to prison. Oh. Oh, hello. You're not going to be so happy in a second. Parker. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? I'm busy trying to keep Emmett from letting you lead him into the biggest mistake of his life. Mistake? My biggest <laughs> mistake was... This will only take a minute. I can't wait for this. Oh, he's doing it in front of everyone as well. Brilliant. It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Shh, listen. It will be in no, a second. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Edna? You're the arsonist? D Detective Parker, surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about yes. your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Emmett? Take that, Edna. You're on your own, darling. Oh, very well. I... You Heavens, are... what's that? Oh, no. You know... One of these days, I should really stop. Come on, man. That. Go and catch her. Not to sound callous, but does this mean I can demonstrate my invention? Let's take that as a yes. Greetings and salutations to all our Here we go, honored then. guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress. Guessing this is Emmett's and it is presentation. And it's my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Yep. Here you go. Great. Come on, let's get up there. It has been hard at work dreaming up gizmos and banging them together in his garage. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Yeah, that already happened several times. to share with us today? And not always for the better, it's got to be said. Ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are gold. Wish me luck. Don't have to. Good luck. I'm gonna wish you luck. Objection! Objection, Your Honor! I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of one Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit Is by reason dad? of insanity. I declare him to be in contempt of He's me, got big ears. his father. Where is he? Hand him over this instant. Oh, no. Ah, that boy. Let's speak to Emmett. Emmett. Shh. Don't give me away. Don't let your dad bully you. I thought you weren't scared of your father anymore. When he's in a mood like this, I'd have to be suicidal not to be scared. Uh, jump in the levitator and go. Just jump in the levitator and go. What's he going to do? Shoot me down with an anti-aircraft gun? He hasn't got one of those. Right, you look silly down there. Come on, Emmett. You can't miss your big moment. You don't look very dignified crouching down there, you know. Better undignified than dead. Let right, me talk okay. to him. Uh, we can only speak to him or Judge Brown. To be for you. <clears throat> you don't think you can shelter him? Yeah, Emmett's gone. Be reasonable. You're making a scene. Come on, Mr. Uh, Judge, sir. You're kind of making a scene here. Wrong. I am stopping my son from making a scene here. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything... So he is up there with you. Thanks a lot. Son, I mean, you kind of did that you yourself. Down from there this second. Don't do it, Emmett. Can we talk to Emmett, Emmett again? I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Bite the bullet. What's your plan? He's got to give you a Maybe fair he'll trial. he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes, 
A judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. And uh, can I'm you say not anything talking else to, him? to him. There's no point. Bite the bullet. Just go deal with them. What have you got to lose? That's what they said to Custer. What's your plan? So, what's your plan? I just stand here like this indefinitely. After a few centuries, the what? process of petrification will set in, and that'll be that. Okay, that is a plan. Yeah, it's really good. Well, I'll, be I'll right tell you back. what. You, you grow a set of balls, and uh, I'll tweet to your dad. First speak to my son. Emmett's not ready to talk to you uh, directly. I suppose you're his mouthpiece. I guess so, yeah. His mind is made up, you're intimidating him. He says you won't listen. He says it's no use talking to you. You never listen? That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. Ah, so, if he can justify it. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. He promised he'd listen to you. You heard him. He said he'll listen to you. Well... At least give it a shot. Father? Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural Probably instincts. Probably wouldn't have gone for that. You don't know what it's like Let's to be young. Understand. You don't know what it's You're like to have dreams, to have ambitions, so great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. You. And it's all you can wow. do to hang on for dear life while they come up on where they must. This escalated rather quickly. This is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Are you happy? Uh, was that really talking? Please. You gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. It's important to Emmett. Emmett's not like other people. It's important to the future. See, Your Honor, it's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. <laughs> a childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. And even if he does, I'm what afraid of He's not like other people. And it's just... Stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kinda... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake, those are traits that lead to trouble. He gets them from his Really? Mother. Come on. It's important to Look, the future. Your Honor, you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look, oh, this guy's in the eyes horrible, isn't he? I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? Yes. Sure. Uh, sure it will. Ha! You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, it doesn't matter. maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. It's my job as his father to see to it. There are no more mistakes. I can't control him. Emmett's different from you. He needs freedom. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but nowadays you, you gotta take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language. There's only two dollars to your name. You? You bet your socks, me. And I made out all right, too. But How you are a bit of a jerk. How did about it at the time? Papa? He was fit to be tied. He called me a disobedient little... Well, there you go. Your father didn't understand you either. So your father didn't approve of you coming to America. Well... Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to. Exactly. Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. Come on, Emmett. It's up to you now, mate. Peacemaker again, Pollyanna. Might seem impossible, but it's not. His bark is worth his bite. He only yells because he loves you. Deep down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted to my spirit. He says you're like your mother. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. 
Well, that's the limit. He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Oh, skip it. <laughs> it might seem impossible, but it's not. I really think he means it this time. He won't listen to me. His bark is worse okay, than his bite. Okay, so he's got a strong personality. Strong personality. Lord save us from strong fathers. Why couldn't I have been born to a nice, wimpy milk toast? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's no picnic either. The important yeah, thing is, would know. fathers can change. Says you. What did you just say? You were starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Can it be that you and your dad? No, next subject. Emmett, stop being a dope. You've got your pride, okay, I, I get it. And so does he, but what's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. Exactly. May I come up? Come on, Emmett, you can do it. So, you think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, yes I do. And I'm here to say, if any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Oh. There we go. That wasn't too hard, was it? You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. You see, the force field generated by the static accumulator. Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. We are ready for liftoff, everybody. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his I mean, Emmett's original kinetic levitator. Invention didn't work. And that was what fired him up to keep producing inventions and learning science, wasn't it? So I wonder if this is gonna work. It's working! He did it! Sounds like it crashed. <laughs> well, there we go. At least he made it fly. Hey! Hey, stop! Get back here! Uh, has she stolen the car? Stop! Are you okay? I thought I could change. Things could be different. Well, there you go. Forget about it. Come on. We gotta find a way to stop her before. No, don't come any closer. Doc! Go oh, away! No. But... Move! Move! <gasps> Doc! Oh Holy my crap. god! Doc! Say something. He was a good oh. guy after all. Lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium, ruthenium. I'll get, I'll get help. He's gonna fade. Newspaper. What? You mean? Oh. I'm gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Well, just when things yeah. picked up. Oh, I think I am going to be okay, Marty. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. Oh, no. I actually feel bad. 
He was a bit of a jerk towards the <laughs> end, but... Come back. out here the whole time damn it yep um is it over already oh it's over all right you missed a very <laughs> wild party i'm afraid i've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years and if i were you i wouldn't go back in either at least not until <laughs> all the broken glass is swept up oh what was i thinking who knows? Naturally, the ionic wind well. generated, generated by an electromagnet of that size is going to play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder if we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into uh, electrokinetic force. He's one might into be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! Uh, what about your failed demo? What about your father? What comes next? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. What about your failed demo? And you're, you're not discouraged? Discouraged? By what? You mean what happened in there? Oh, that was a learning experience. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry, is something wrong? Yeah. It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh, I lost somebody. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? Not yet. <laughs> Carl Sagan, the future mayor. Nobody you know. It was, uh, Carl Sagan. What? The guy who tried to hire me in there? You were friends with him? Strange. Yeah, sort but of. How? Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here, there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Uh, please, Emmy, yeah, don't ask right. any. What's this? Uh oh, don't look at that. Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. Uh, okay. Okay, here goes. But What's don't get it for a while. An explanation. But you've got to promise me, don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Damn it! It will make sense. Promise. Damn it! Where are you, my son? I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Will. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to uh, something. Just just say you promise. Okay, I promise. Make sure you keep that promise. Wait. I will see you again, right? Yeah, eventually. Guarantee it. We know that line. The question is, what did Edna do? Maybe we're about to find out. Same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. And now he remembers. <laughs> how strange. How was the ceremony? Long. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. Only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. 
Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? That is a long story. I actually came to rescue you. I came you. to rescue you. Teenage me? No, you, nope. you. But then teenage you got mixed up in it. See, you were in jail and... Never yeah, mind. it's a long story. I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies. Me? Nah, Maybe. no. Well, I'm, I'm still a little confused about my... Uh-oh. Who's that? Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. Oh, is that? You see my Artie anywhere? It's Artie. Artie well, McFly? Well, that. That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gone and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? <gasps> uh oh. Mary. This is gonna make. I swear, that boy's gonna put his pop on. Oh mood. dear. This is gonna make Marty so fade away. So that's how she got her job back. Ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma, and if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was Great Grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. Holy crap, uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help that of... car! Oh, great. Oh. How the hell did she get back here? Yeah, she... where did she go? You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Sort of, but not really. This exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Well... Wait, Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it. It made a loud noise, and then wham! Nothing! Great Scott! Marty, mm. do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. No. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she might mess up the screwed. time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Uh, guys. Yep. You mind telling me what the, what the hell you're... Oh, what's that? Uh-oh. Holy crap. Hill Valley's gone. Oh, no. Doc? Did we just leave Hill Valley? No. I believe Hill Valley just left us. How? Something must have happened to it. A long time ago. Well, there's a plot twist. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to leave it there because we've um, run over time and um, we'll have to pick it up in the next one. But man, just when things were picking up, they've been screwed up yet again. Oh, I can't wait to see where this goes, but at least the real doc is back now. That's the main thing. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.